All right, so I changed my mind. I want to go ahead and show you just how to place text down here at the bottom. Uh, this is not how you are going to do it for your own, but just for sake of speed, we're going to go ahead and do it this way just so that uh, we can get moved on to the next piece. And I'll have a separate video that will show you how to set up your own page numbers. So down here at the bottom, what we're going to do is we're going to make what's known as the folio. The folio is what shows up at the bottom of the pages for whether it's a book or a magazine that has the page number and usually has the magazine name or potentially the um, some other information. But for this one, we're just going to do the magazine name and the page number. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the text box, being careful not to click inside of this text box here. So what we can do is go ahead and if you're not already there, click on normal mode. That way you can kind of see where the edges are. Go ahead and hold your mouse button down and drag to make a frame. Let's go ahead and call this page 205. Change the font. Let's go ahead and change that one to impact as well. I'm just using that because that was one that I know we have. I wouldn't necessarily use that one for your magazine. That's the meme font. We don't need that. To move this down here. What I'm doing is notice when I start to drag, this thing has smart guides on. See how that green line shows up? What it's doing is it's trying to find somewhere to line up. So like right there when it's green, it means that that frame is perfectly centered with that line. I don't want that there. I want it actually to line up with this, with the edge. So that way the text is lined up with this page number down here. I'm gonna actually hold down the control and the shift key to make that page number a little bit larger. Then I'm going to, with the black arrow, I'm going to hold down the Alt key click with my mouse and start to drag. And before I let go of any of the buttons, I'm going to hold down the shift key. See what that does is by hitting shift as it pulls it right back up. So the key thing is I'm holding down the mouse button. And I haven't let go of the mouse button. I'm going to move this over. We'll talk more about cool ways to mess with folios uh, to make them look good. But for this, we're just going to go pretty basic. So I'm going to type in sci-fi now. I'm going to highlight just the word sci-fi. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change that to 75. And I'm going to hold down the alt key and click a couple times just to adjust the tracking going to double click in this bottom right corner. Oops. Bottom right corner there, just so it snaps the text frame. And then in this top one, when there's a double headed arrow, I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold down the shift and the control key, and then I'm going to click with the mouse. And that'll shrink it down a little bit. Okay, cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy, paste, And I'm going to move this one over to this side, keeping an eye on the gap between there. Just using this as a visual indicator so I can see about how big it is. I'll show you another trick and technique later on in your own personal one on how to do this to make that line up better. Then I'm going to come inside of here and I'm going to change this to 206. Now, as soon as I do 206, it's too big for that frame. So I'm going to come here to the left and I'm just going to double click on that top and it'll make the frame bigger. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out. And there we go. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to highlight both of those. Don't worry about lining them up yet. I'll show you a trick. I'm going to go over to that edge. But what I do want to line up with is I want this, I'm going to highlight both of these. I want them to line up with the edge of that frame. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now I'm going to highlight all the way across. So I have all four of those pieces. So I just clicked here in the gray area, drug a line up. Just be careful not to drag too high or else you're going to end up grabbing. See how those are red? It's grabbing different pieces here. I basically, whoops, undo, just want to get up to the page numbers. Now what I can do is I can use the align panel. 
down here, see how there's a line. I'm gonna line those up and have them line up with the center. So now those are perfectly even. All right, go ahead and save that. And that is it. So it, what you're going to end up doing is you are going to record a screencast and in the next video, I'll show you what it is that I want you to do for the screencast. It's gonna be pretty fast.